The lush forests and more than 7,000 islands of the Philippines hold a rich diversity of life, with 258 bird species who live nowhere but the Philippine archipelago. A new study from University of Utah researchers suggests that, due to deforestation and habitat degradation, more bird species may be endangered than previously thought, including species that may not have been discovered yet. The study is published in Frontiers in Ecology and Evolution. It is time to pay close attention to things you see in the sky, one of them may be a rare bird that is endemic to the Philippines. Ten Favorites Endemic Birds to the Philippines Number 1 Rufus Hornbill Scientific name, Baceros hydrocorax. The Rufus hornbill, also known as the Philippine hornbill and locally as Kalao, is a large species of hornbill endemic to the Philippines, the largest hornbill in the country. They are referred by locals as the clock of the mountains due to its large booming call, which typically occur of every hour. It occurs in moist tropical lowland forest. They are now considered to be a threatened species, and its reasons for decline being habitat destruction hunting and poaching for the illegal pet trade. It can be seen in Samar, Leyte, Bohol, Panaon, Balaran, Calicone and Bawad, Race Semigalitis, Dinagat, Siargao, Mindanao plus Balut, Bukas and Talakad, and Basilan, Race Mindanensisu, and Sierra Madre. Number 2 Pink-Bellied Imperial Pigeon. Scientific name. Ducula poliocephala. The pink-bellied imperial pigeon also known as the zone-tailed pigeon, is found in the Philippines. It is a large fruit-eating bird reaching sizes of up to 42 centimeters long. Ebert describes this as, a large pigeon of foothill and lower montane forest canopy with a white head, a dark bluish-gray chest and upper back, green wings, a whitish belly with a pink tinge, and rufous under the base of the tail. Note the large red eye ring, somewhat similar to Mindoro imperial pigeon, but the pink-bellied has a dark neck and chest. Its natural habitat is tropical moist lowland forest and montane forest up to 1,500 meters. According to the IUCN Red List and BirdLife International's Red Book, the pink-bellied imperial pigeon is classified as near-threatened. However, the Philippine Red List classifies this bird as critically endangered. This is due to the loss of habitat, trapping for the pet trade and hunting for food. Number 3 Red Vented Cockatoo. Scientific name. Cockatoo Hematropigia. The Red Vented Cockatoo also known as the Philippine Cockatoo and locally Catala, Abuque, Agay or Kalangay, is a species of cockatoo. It is endemic to the Philippines. It is roughly the size and shape of the Tanambar Corella, but is easily distinguished by the red feathers around the vent. It is threatened by habitat loss and the cage bird trade. The plumage is all white with red undertail covers tipped white, yellowish undertail and pale yellow underwings. It is 12 inches 30 centimeters long and has an 8.6 inch 22 centimeters wingspan. Ebert describes it as, a rare large parrot of forest on Palawan and several other scattered islands. Heavily persecuted, can roost on small islets or in mangroves and forage in more open areas, including agricultural fields. Mostly white with a pale yellowish cheek undertail, and underwings and a red patch under the base of the tail. Note the pale bill and the bare white skin around the eye. Hidden crest is usually held flat. The red vented cockatoo makes a characteristic bleeding call, as well as screeching or whistling noises that are common to most cockatoos. It is quieter than most cockatoos, and much quieter than the umbrella cockatoo or Moluccan cockatoo. The diet of red vented cockatoo is mostly seeds, but they also eat fruit flowers, and nectar. They even eat rice and corn, which is why they are considered. It appears to be restricted to lowland primary and or secondary forest predominantly below 50 meters, in or adjacent to riverine or coastal areas with mangroves. The IUCN Red List has assessed this bird as critically endangered with an estimate of 430 to 750 mature individuals. Red vented cockatoos were formerly widely distributed on all larger and many smaller islands of the Philippines, excluding northern and central Luzon.
Number 4 Guayabero. Scientific name. Bulbopsidicus lunulatus. The Guayabero is a species of parrot in the family Psittaculidae, belonging to the monotypic genus Bulbopsidicus and closely related to the lovebirds Agapornis and hanging parrots Lauriculus. It is endemic to the Philippines and locally known as Bubutok. Its common name is derived from its reputation for eating guavas. Measuring around 15 cm in length, it is a smallish, stout parrot with a large bill and stubby tail. The sexes differ in plumage. The adult male is green overall, with more yellowish underparts and a pale blue face and collar and wing primaries. The rump is yellow-green. The bill is gray-blue and with a darker tip, and the eyes dark brown. The adult female is also greenish, with a yellow collar and less blue on the face. It has black crescent markings on the nape and rump. Its bill is paler gray. It inhabits lowland forests and adjacent cleared country. It is a predominantly fruit-eating parrot, and has been recorded near fruit trees such as mangoes. The breeding habits in the wild remained virtually unknown until a few years ago, but based on recent observations it appears to nest in a self-excavated cavity inside an arboreal ant nest or termitaria. The Guayabero was first described as Psittacus lunulatus by Tyrolean naturalist Giovanni Antonio Scopoli in 1786. The only member of its genus, it is distinctive. Four subspecies have been recognized. The nominate race Lunulatus occurs on Luzon. Birds on Leyte are darker with a more distinctive blue collar and some purple tinge on the face and classified as subspecies intermedius. Those on Mindanao and Panau have greener cheeks and are classified as subspecies Mindanensis. And finally those on Samar are similar to the Leyte subspecies but with a more yellow tone overall and classified as Calenopictus. Number 5 Philippine Hawk Eagle Scientific name. Nisitus philippensis. The Philippine hawk eagle or North Philippine hawk eagle earlier treated under spazetus, is a species of bird of prey in the family Axipetridae. Many taxonomists consider the Pinsker's hawk eagle, a former subspecies, raised to full species status. It is endemic to the Philippines. Its natural habitat is tropical moist lowland forests. It is threatened by habitat loss and trapping. The Philippine hawk eagle is a large raptor with a dark brown upper plumage and a pale brown belly. Head and chest are streaked and the lower belly is finely barred. The species has a conspicuous backwards crest. Juveniles are paler. They call a high, screeching, weak wick, or single, weak. It inhabits primary and secondary forest, occasionally frequenting clearings and cultivations, from the lowlands to lower mountain slopes. Majority of records are below 1,000 meters above sea level. The IUCN Red List has assessed this bird as endangered with the population being estimated at 400 to 600 mature individuals remaining and still continuing to decrease. This species' main threat is habitat loss with wholesale clearance of forest habitats as a result of logging, agricultural conversion and mining activities occurring within the range. It is also trapped and hunted for food in the pet trade. It occurs in a few protected areas including Mount Makiling National Park, Mount Isarog National Park, Calbario Patapad National Park, Northern Sierra Madre Natural Park and Bataan National Park. However, as is the case for most of the Philippines protection and enforcement from logging and hunting is lax. Conservation actions proposed include to surveys in area from which the species is known and propose formal protection. Study the species ecology particularly home range size and dispersal ability to help inform a global population estimate and assess the likely impact of habitat fragmentation. Promote more effective enforcement of legislation designed to control hunting and trading. Assess forest loss in the Philippines and gauge the species's likely rate of decline and degree of fragmentation of its populations. Research hunting and trade by interviewing local people and visiting wildlife markets. Number 6 Scale Feathered Malcoa. Scientific name. Dasilophus kumingi. The scale feathered malcoa is a species of cuckoo in the family Cuculidae. It is endemic to the northern Philippines. The species was named after the collector Hugh Cumming. Large, with unique plastic like feathers on head and throat, sexes alike. And whole head gray, 
almost white on the throat with feather on top of head and down center of throat to upper breast tipped with black scale-like feathers. Upper back forming a continuous bend with chestnut on lower breast back, wings, and graduated white tipped tail glossy black on lower belly and under tail covers. This species can make distinct metallic whistles described as an explosive and high-pitched, quiz kid, or whiz kid. Its diet includes insects, caterpillars, centipedes, scorpions, snails, worms, small snakes, and lizards. It can be seen in Luzon, Marinduque, and Cotondwanas. Number 7 Philippine Falconet, scientific name, Microurax erythrogenes. The Philippine Falconet is a species of bird of prey in the family Falconidae, genus Microurax. It is endemic to the lowland forests of Philippines, and can often be seen near open forest edges hunting flying insects. Philippine Falconets nest in woodpecker holes of dead trees, and can be seen fairly commonly within their suitable habitats. Although the Philippine falconet population is declining due to habitat loss, it is still evaluated as least concern globally. The Philippine falconet has a length of 15 to 18 centimeters, a wingspan of 32 to 37 centimeters, and a body mass of 37 to 52 grams. Compared to other members in the falconidae family, it is extremely small. Philippine falconet has a plumage coloration of black and white. It has uniformly black upper parts from head to tail, and white underparts from cheek to lower neck, with a washed buff belly. The underwing converts are black, and the flight feathers are inconspicuously barred white. Female has all black underwings, unlike male, which has white spots on inner webs to the remiges and is also up to 20% larger. The southern subspecies are slightly larger than the northern subspecies. Scientists also found that individuals on different islands have distinct differences in tail, bill, and wing, indicating exceptional degrees of endemism in this species. The Philippine falconet is endemic to the Philippine archipelago. It is distributed across several Philippine islands Luzon, Mindoro, Negros, Catanduanas, Bohol, Calicone, Samar, Leyte, Cebu, Mindanao, and Panay, and can be found in subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests. Philippine falconet usually occurs in pairs, or in family groups, and is usually singing. When foraging, this species perches on prominent branches or canopy of old dead trees where it hawks for prey. Like other falconets, Philippine falconets do not hover or soar. They hunt aerial prey from exposed tree perches and chase them down with fast and powerful flights. Once the prey is snatched in the bird's bill, it is carried back to the same perch where it gets eaten. The species feeds mainly on insects and smaller birds. The proportions of insects and birds in the diet may vary according to availability. One study suggests that dragonfly makes up nearly 70% of their diet, alongside other insects such as bees, butterflies, grasshoppers, and beetles. Breeding takes place in March and April. However, sometimes nests can be found as early as November. It is still unclear when precisely breeding takes place, but scientists generally believe that it differs in different island environments. Philippine falconets are cavity nesters. They prefer old woodpecker or barbet holes at 6 to 10 meters above the ground in dead trees at the edge of forests. The clutch size is typically 3 to 4 eggs. The nest is strongly defended by both adults. The family usually stays together until the next breeding season. Palawan peacock pheasant, scientific name, Polyplectron napoleonis. The Palawan peacock pheasant is a medium-sized, up to 50 centimeters long, bird in the family Phasianidae endemic to the island of Palawan in the Philippines. It is known as Tandikan in the local Palawano, Tagbanwa, and Batak languages of Palawan. It is featured prominently in the culture of the indigenous people of Palawan. The bird is also depicted in the official seal of the city of Puerto Princesa. The adult male is the most peacock-like member of the genus Polyplectron in appearance. It has an erectile crest and highly iridescent electric blue-violet, metallic green turquoise dorsal plumage. Its breast and ventral regions are a velvety black. The flight feathers are wide, flat, 
and rigid, velvety black on the inner edges and an iridescent violet blue-green on the outer edges. Their terminal edges are squared. The tail feathers are black with very fine golden-brown speckling. Each tail plume and upper tail covert is marked with highly iridescent, light reflective, eyes, a chelly each bordered by black and gray. They are also tipped in bands of black and gray. The tail is held erect and expanded laterally together with the bodies of the birds. The males also raise one wing and lower the other, laterally compressing the body during pair bonding. Courtship displays as well and may also be antipredator adaptation. The female is slightly smaller than the male. Its contour plumage is cloudy silt in coloration. The mantle and breast are a dark sepia in coloration. The rectrices are essentially similar to those of the male, exhibiting marked adumbrations and stunning achelli. Throughout, their plumage is earthen and difficult to distinguish from the substrate and branches. While it has similar proportions of the tail to the male, its markings are not as visually arresting. Like the male, the female has a short crest and is whitish on the throat, cheeks and eyebrows. Chicks are vivid ginger and cinnamon hued with prominent yellow markings. Juveniles of both sexes in the first year closely resemble their mothers. Subadult males in their second year more closely resemble their fathers but the mantle and wing covers are marked with adumbrations analogous with the achelli in the contour plumage of other peacock pheasant species. Like other peacock pheasants, Palawan males and some females exhibit multiple spurs on the metatarsus. These are used in anti-predator defense, foraging in leaf litter and contests with other males. The male Palawan excavates slight depressions in which it orients its body during postural display behaviors. The bird vibrates loudly via stridulation of rectrice quills. This communicative signal is both audible and is a form of seismic communication. Palawan peacock pheasants are strong flyers. Their flight is swift, direct and sustained. Endemic to the Philippines, the Palawan peacock pheasant is found in the humid forests of Palawan Island in the southern part of the Philippine archipelago. They are confined to the lowlands and foothills, at elevations normally below 1,000 meters 3, feet above sea level. Peacock pheasants are highly invertivorous, taking isopods, earwigs, insect larvae, mollusks, centipedes and termites as well as small frogs, droops, seeds and berries. They are strictly monogamous, renesting yearly. The female usually lays up to two eggs. Both parents rearing chicks for up to two years. Males act as sentinels of nest sites and are highly pugnacious during the reproductive cycle. Due to ongoing habitat loss, small population size and limited range as well as hunting and capture for trade, the Palawan peacock pheasant is classified as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. It is listed on Appendix I of Sites. Number 9 Philippine Duck, scientific name, Anas luzonica. The Philippine duck is a large dabbling duck of the genus Anas. Its native name is Papon. It is endemic to the Philippines. It has no subspecies and so it is monotypic. It belongs to the Pacific clade of Anas along with the Koloa the Laysan duck, the Pacific black duck, and the extinct Mariana mallard. The Philippine duck is a large conspicuous duck. It has a black crown, nape and eye stripe, with a cinnamon head and neck. The rest of its body is grayish-brown with a bright green speculum. Its legs are grayish-brown, and its bill is bluish-gray. The female is somewhat smaller than the male, but is otherwise the same. The Philippine duck is known to inhabit all of the major Philippine islands and eight minor islands, but since the 1980s most sightings have been on Luzon and Mindanao. Long-distance vagrants have been sighted in Okinawa and Taiwan. It is found in all types of wetlands within its range, but its preferred habitat is shallow freshwater marshland. The Philippine duck is rated vulnerable on the IUCN Red List with the population estimated to be 3,306,700 mature individuals remaining. The species has experienced steep population decreases since the 1970s mainly due to hunting and habitat loss. The ducks have been heavily hunted since the 1960s with thousands being hunted a year through the late 1980s. 
Habitat loss is mainly due to wetland drainage, aquaculture, mangrove destruction and fish pond creation. The species occurs in multiple protected areas including Manliluog Spring Protected Landscape, Mounts Iglet Bako National Park, Naujan Lake National Park, Bataan National Park, Northern Sierra Madre Natural Park and Olango Island, a Ramsar wetland. However, as is with most of the Philippines' enforcement from hunting is lax. It eats shrimp, fish, insects, and vegetation, and it frequents all types of wetlands. Number 10 Cebu Flowerpecker, scientific name, Dicium quadricolor. The Cebu Flowerpecker is a small passerine bird. It is endemic to Cebu Island in the Philippines. Feared to have become extinct early in the 20th century, it was rediscovered in 1992 in a small patch of limestone forest in the central Cebu protected landscape. It has since been found at three other sites, namely the Nugas Forest of Alcoy, Mount Lantoy of Argao and the forests of Dalaget. This four-colored bird normally grows to 11 or 12 centimeters. The male is characterized by a large, triangular, scarlet to vermilion coat stain. In the female, the top is brown. The Cebu flowerpecker consumes small fruits and mistletoe plants and is generally active in the mornings to avoid competition with more aggressive birds. Despite attempts to protect its habitat it remains critically endangered due to illegal logging. This four-colored bird normally grows to 11 or 12 centimeters. The male is characterized by a large, triangular, scarlet to vermilion coat stain. The lower back is ochre with green approach. Back, neck, head and sides of neck, wings and tail are glossy blue-black. The underside is pale yellow. Chin, belly center, armpits, under tail covers, and under wing covers are white. The edges are blurred light olive. In the female, the top is brown. The head is slightly faded olive. The back, the wing covers and outer webs of secondaries are strongly washed out olive. The rump is almost entirely olive yellow. The underside is white with a faint gray olive yellow approach that is brighter towards the center of the chest and abdomen. The under wing covers, shoulders, and inner webs of the quills are white. The Cebu flowerpecker is a critically endangered breeding bird. It was feared to have become extinct early in the 20th century after the clearance of most of the island's forests, but was rediscovered in 1992 in a small patch of limestone forest in the central Cebu protected landscape and has since been found at three other sites namely, the Nugas Forest of Alcoy, Mount Lantoy of Argao and the forests of Dalaget. Dot, the rediscovery of the Cebu flowerpecker along with historical evidence of primary forest where it had been thought none remained suggests that Cebu and eight of its endemic birds were written off too early. Other possible sites for this species are in Malabuyak. The current population is estimated to be between 85 and 105. The Cebu flowerpecker is known to inhabit the Tabunan forest, the Babayungan forest in Dalaget, and the Nugas forest in Alcoy on the island of Cebu in the Philippines. The Cebu flowerpecker is commonly found in the closed forest canopy and near flowering or fruiting plants, these areas are located in the interior and outskirt ranges of the forests. The Cebu flowerpecker consumes small fruits and mistletoe plants to get its energy. These mistletoe plants are ideal for many birds in Cebu because they are abundant and bear fruits and flowers on a monthly basis. The endemic Cebu mistletoe, that it has been seen feeding on most varies from other common mistletoe plants in its ridges of orange-brown scales on the young leaves and internodes. While most diurnal birds tend to be active very early in the morning, the Cebu flowerpecker differs. Because the species is known to be bullied by other aggressive birds such as the red-striped flowerpecker, it chooses to be active between 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., after the busiest time of the day, in order to avoid these more competitive species. When foraging, it tends to fly quickly to its preferred flowering plant, feed, and then promptly fly away immediately after. Although the Cebu flowerpecker rarely calls, its sound is similar to the pygmy flowerpecker's call. The Cebu flowerpecker is currently categorized as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List. Many threats are known to impact the Cebu flowerpecker with varying degrees. As of 2019, 
Recent threat analysis in the Philippines considers the impact of anthropogenic activities which include deforestation, hunting, and expansion of infrastructure. The habitat of the Cebu flowerpecker has been reduced to 1,000 hectares. Current conservation efforts include the biodiversity conservation awareness, habitat restoration, biodiversity management, and protection by central Cebu protected landscape, and the establishment of the critical habitat. The Tabunan Forest is located within the boundaries of the Central Cebu National Park, however, there are increased occurrences of illegal use of Tabunan forest resources.